Hello, Libra. Welcome to your Venus Retrograde. Reading for October to November 1st of this current year. Hooray. Thank you, phone, for dinging right in. That's awesome. Please hold back, though. I got shit to do. Anyway, hope you guys had a happy birthday. We're going into Scorpio very soon. And I'm doing a special reading for you all today using my Alistair Crowley Toffs deck, which I find very, um, particularly sacred in my practice, you know. Let's see. Being indecisive about how you're going to go about things to get them started. And that could be you. And this could be you, too. It's like, you're not really figuring out what it is you're going to try to manifest, I feel like. Like you're having a hard time trying to decide how you're going to go about things. I think. Just let you guys know I'm still doing personal readings and if you guys want one, you can find my email in the description below. Just hit me up and I'll talk to you about all that shit there. Also, just to let you guys know, I am Prego. Possibly with a Gemini child. <laughs> this is probably why my readings have been off as of late, but I didn't know that until now. So, like, I'm very much trying to be a little bit more communicative. But it isn't working for me because I still end up really, really um, angry because people want to talk to me. And people want to talk to me now because they all know I'm Prego. So it's just like, ah. Uh, what happened in peace and quiet? Um, someone is holding back on their true feelings. Trying to perceive everything around them before they uh, come out with it, I feel like. Or someone's hiding what it really is behind their feelings. Like, look at that mask. That's like double the mask in right there. Like, really hiding what you're thinking, almost. While not really spilling out too much of how you're feeling. Like... I wouldn't say the queen is, like, immature like the page or the knight is, but, like, I don't know. She's still got a ways to go. kind of hanging out for longer than what you're supposed to leave or like working that martyrness right sorry i was like spaced out for a minute i don't know what the hell happened kitten thank you i didn't even have to get up you just did it on your own good girl okay ready for yours ah all right that's fair did kind of do that in a hurry. Skeleton away. I saw a tower moment for a second. Alright. No enemies. So we got... Ooh. Six cups reverse. Oh, there's the magician again. And here's a queen of wands. Rawr. So we got like, maybe... Uh, it's like... With this deck, I want to read it so completely different because I'm not going by the traditional stuff. I just look at the pictures and it's like, this is pleasure and it's upside down. It's like overindulgence of pleasures. I mean, this deals with the past and maybe even the future sometimes, but I feel like this is an overindulgence of something like. It was pleasurable to begin with, but now it's like, is it too much? Kind of like that, you know, that kind of vibe. Like, is there not, is it too much pleasure? Are you getting, or is, or, or, or did you bite off more than you can chew? Kind of vibe, you know, like, is it really what you wanted? Or, or like, it, it, like, almost like you got what you wished for kind of vibe? I don't know. Over here is manifesting stuff, and over here is the Queen of Wands sitting there with her kitty cat. Fuck yeah. Love that she always has a cat. Um, she stands proud, tall, feeling justified. Look at the crown on her head. Just passion, right? And then over here, someone like creating things. Now on this side, we got like a burden that's getting lessened up with the Ten of Wands. And on this side, 
We have a princess or a page of wands. Um, not riding in for some like usually she would be going up to the heavens to demonstrate something but no she's asleep like the tiger like just chilling out not moving or doing anything just there right and then on this side we have some sneaky behavior but it getting pointed out i think with all these other swords um there's utility in this matter it feels like someone needs to like get out or sneak away but these swords are pointing at this one sword. And then on this side, we have Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be you, or there could be a need to deliver a message, but like the Princess of Wands is asleep. Could also be the same people right here. Like she's being lazy right now. She's not delivering this. Any of these words, any of this information. On this side, we have a prince of disc or the king of pentacles. Um, someone riding in, but riding in quite slowly. Someone who is in control. Someone who carries their discs like a giant ball of magnificence. Looking down at what is his reward is, his look at his gates like look at everything he carries with him like everything's just made of gold around him everything serves him everything demonstrates his power and he carries a wand too it's made of bronze with like a religious symbol on top being like this is how i do it here you will serve me right i am the king <laughs> and then on this side Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They're all almost over here. I wonder if they're all the same person, but it's like, this person's just ready to take off. They're not moving to say anything, and they're just leaving. They're just going in the battle to do whatever, you know? How awkward. Okay, so, yeah. Huh. Oh, I didn't need to see these. The world came up right side up, so a cycle might be ending, or a new one might be a beginning. So you might be at an end of a cycle, which is good because cycles are ending all over with the retrograde. You know? Um, there might have also been like a breakup between two people somewhere, or some connection got severed. Or maybe some message didn't get delivered because somebody didn't offer a cup back to somebody. Because it takes two to tango in that one. Okay, so on this side, connecting with this burden that's now going away with a false offer, a not genuine offer, a replica of one, right? Like, what is it that Stephen King said once? I've been saying it to everybody else who's been getting it. Like, everyone's been getting it almost, actually, now that I think about it. But it's like, um, imagine going home into your house. It's seeing everything that you own in your house is actually a replica of what it, of the real thing. And if all, everything that was real in your house was replaced with a replica, a copy. This is like a, it's not a genuine offer, it was false. And that's this burden lessening away. <laughs> then on this side, we have someone looking for a reason to stay. Like, apparently it's this page of wands, this princess of wands. She might have lost faith and is looking for a reason to stay. Might have already weighed out the options to leave, but is looking for something to come back to, maybe? Then on this side, with this sneak behavior, maybe something coming out or whatever, someone wants to work on something. This false offer. And on this side, we have a third party situation maybe or over celebration with between this queen of wands and this knight of swords maybe somebody's like talking of the mouth about this third party situation or this over um celebration maybe somebody went too far and spent too much maybe somebody went out of their way to 
cheat and hurt somebody too it could go either or with this like because it's three ways like it's all bubbling it looks fun it looks happy but it's reversed and i can't help but think like ooh, it's not as much overabundant as it is like overindulgence as i'm calling this one i think because i think that's what it is if this is pleasure reverse i would think it's overindulgence like getting biting off more than you can chew on this side we have the sun reversed when it comes to this king of pentacles and then on this side is the Hierophant, Taurus's card, where someone is dealing with excommunication, and that's possibly why, like, this Knight of Wands is taken off. Libra, yours is the weirdest one so far. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of these two. Like, they're, they're definitely not the same route, but they're not really opposing either. Like... Someone's letting go of a burden of not opening up about a king of pentacles. Like some false offer they want to work out, but their sun shines up and down. Mind you, that could also be a um, Leo, too. Like some offer was false, and now they're trying to work it out with, like, a really sad Leo? Huh. And so far, there has been... disappointments a lot of disappointments like five of cups and worse like disappointments somebody can't get over or disappointments somebody keeps experiencing maybe like the emotions behind it like maybe even betrayal and needing to connect all that together in order to figure out how to deal with those emotions behind it and possibly coming for the truth with the Prince of Swords, a.k.a. King of Swords. That's the first he's come up, I actually think, where someone wants the truth. Could be you, Libra. Could be anybody else that you're dealing with, but someone wants the truth in the situation. Could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius. I almost called him Aries. I don't know why. Oh, my God. And someone's staying in their shell about things, right? I am not... Reading all of those, that's ridiculous. But I'll read you because you're really like, down. Over here, someone's wanting to like be on top of things and have their valor with the Seven of Wands upright at that. So, definitely looking for a victory in there. Definitely wanting to gain the upper hand. Um, but a decision wasn't made, and now there is a Page of Pentacle. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Possibly this King of Cups, or, or King of Cups, this King of Pentacles right here, right? Maybe somebody thought they got a victory because they didn't make a decision with a... Page of Pentacles? But did that Page of Pentacles become a King of Pentacles? <laughs> like backfire and that's why there's unhappiness right here because it looks like someone might open up an apology and try to start something like a new beginning with somebody like a new heartfelt whatever right these are the advice ones i'll pick three right even though all the cards are advice but you know all uh semantics and all Doot. Do, 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 jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Oh, there's one. Um, there was a lot of, like, toxic emotions somewhere. Maybe with this offering, maybe the emotions just aren't right, but I don't know if I'd want to drink it all this cups. It's like the swamp and Dark Souls, right? Everything's just poisonous. You know? Even with this apology or this heartfelt moment which will start something new maybe even a new path it might not be on the healthiest and there's heartbreak three of swords like that flower is stabbed and now it's dying the petals are falling off huh like almost like this offer it's full of poison and it just ends up breaking a heart. Sorrow. 
someone living out a heartbreak. Or maybe somebody's waiting for an apology, and that's the toxic emotions that are coming in. And then, like, their heart gets broken because it never comes? Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, you tell me, Libras, but... You, yeah, you let me know how to spread how you feel about this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.